Hi, you just received a PDF file via WhatsApp that requires your signature, but you don't have a printer or a scanner. So in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how you can sign a PDF file in WhatsApp. Well, WhatsApp doesn't have built-in signing capability yet, but turns out you can enhance it with a supporting app called Adobe Acrobat Reader. This app is actually a free app that you can download from the Apple App Store or the Android Play Store. After you download this app, you can leave it aside and continue the workflow from within WhatsApp. So let's go back to the WhatsApp uh, message that you receive. When somebody sends you a PDF file, I'm going to show you how to e-sign this document now. So you tap on a PDF file from within WhatsApp. Look through the document to see if this is exactly what you guys have discussed. And if you are ready to sign, at the upper right corner, there is a forward button. Just press the forward button and you should see Adobe Acrobat uh, red icon in one of the options. If you don't see it, just simply slide across the row of icons and you should see it among there. So just tap on Acrobat. Just tap on Fill and Sign and now you are in Adobe Acrobat with the document that you just saw. And to sign, very simple, there are two ways. One is to tap on the signature button on the lower right corner and then you can start signing and position it. For me, I prefer to position it first then sign. You zoom in to the location that you want to sign, tap on the blank space. Now, there will be a bar of options that will appear, but usually that's covered by your keyboard. So all you need to do is just slide higher and you should see a bar here. And on the fourth icon, you can see that it's the same signature icon. Just tap on that button and you can actually e-sign from here. So you just need to sign your signature, right? And then tap it in and click done. Once you click done, Right, the signature will auto insert into the location that you tapped earlier. All you need to do now is simply to tap on your signature and to resize it using the resize blue bar, uh, round button on the right. Just pull that round button and you will be able to resize it according to how you want to fit the box. Right? You could also change the color using the black, red and blue ink. Or you can delete away the signature with the uh, trash can button. So let's say I want to leave it as blue color. I will switch to blue color and usually I like blue color for signing because then it differentiates the signing uh, from the black and white text. Then if you can move on to the bottom of the second page. Usually some document may require you to sign at the bottom of each page. Repeat the same process. Tap on the empty space and then pull up a little bit to see the bar and click on sign. And the signature that you did on first page automatically appear. All you need to do is just position it or resize it. Once you are done, right, you move on to uh, the last page. So in the last page of most of the documents, that's where you are required to type in your name or put in the date. So say here, you can tap to insert your signature. Just press the signature button, resize it accordingly again. And now I want to fill in the date. Just tap on the date okay, area and then you'll be presented with a typing. Just type it in. So let's say the date is 0303-2020. Okay. So once you have it, tap away and you should see what you fill in there. And then you can tap on it one more time and drag it around. Right. So there is a bounding box. Put your finger within the bounding box edges. Just use that to drag it around to position exactly where you want it. The powerful thing about this app is that you are also have the ability to cross, mark cross or strike off any text. So to do that, let's go back to one of the second page where we are supposed to take a check mark on yes or no, right? So let's say you have to do a yes. So in this case, what you do is that you can simply tap on the box and Adobe Acrobat cleverly detect that that's a box and it will draw a cross for you, right? Then there will be cases where you are supposed to strike off between uh, two choices. So to do that, the easiest way I found was to look at the bottom. There's an option there that shows like a dash mark. That turned out to be a strike 
uh, mode. So just click on the strike mode so that it becomes blue color now. Then you tap on the word that you want to strike off. So in this case, I want to strike off the word inclusive. So I just tap on the word inclusive and the word is now cross. Okay. This is exactly the common usage of signing a document. And this really helps you in the whole entire workflow. Let's say now you're happy with this document. Next would be to send it back to the person who um, sent you the document. So to do that at the upper right corner, there is a forward button again with an arrow pointing upwards. Tap on that and you'll be presented with the ability to email the documents. Now, since the person sent you via WhatsApp, um, I would normally prefer to send back the person with the same platform, which is WhatsApp. I receive from WhatsApp, I return through WhatsApp. Okay, so to do that, at the bottom, there's a button called share a copy. Just click on share a copy and you'll be presented with, again, options. You should see WhatsApp there. If you don't, like in my case, you just need to slide across and you are able to choose WhatsApp and then choose the person's name or type the name under the search bar and then you can send it to that person who sent you the document and click next at the bottom of the screen and then you can see that just now the signed document that you did is all here strike off and also the um, check mark so once you are done just click on send at the upper right corner right just click send and this document will be sent back to that person with your signature complete so that seal the deal so if you are sealed the deal this way congratulations to you good luck